Alright, welcome back to TYT Sports, Jason Room with you. So, a uh, column I've seen regularly across the internet in regards to uh, National Basketball Association is the MVP ladder. This is relatively new. Uh, over the past couple of years, they start to rank who they think the MVP is, and if you move up and down said ladder, it's like a power rankings. And if before the season you said, like I said, uh, there's, this was the reaction, man. If Kevin Durant's going to the Warriors, can he win the MVP? If he goes to the Warriors, and I will use SpongeBob to explain preseason writers about Kevin Durant. No, 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 no. It's true. Now, if you fast forward to halfway through the season before we get into some numbers, more SpongeBob. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> uh, 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 hi, Kevin. I'm your biggest fan. Yeah, about that. See, what's going to happen, unfortunately, as we get towards the end of the season is that they're going to find that Kevin Durant might put up one of the greatest shooting seasons in NBA history right after Steph Curry put up one of the greatest shooting seasons in NBA history. Now, to the latter, at least written by uh, NBA.com and the one that went out today, which is, of course, deba uh, debatable, and it still does not have Kevin Durant as the number one guy to win it. Actually, According to NBA.com, James Harden is leading that MVP ladder with Russell Westbrook as number three. Let's go to look, take a look at that list in itself because the bottom half of it, I think, is a little bit absurd. Uh, number one, James Harden, two, Durant, Westbrook at number three, Kawhi and uh, LeBron at four and five. And then after that, of course, it goes up for debate. Isaiah Thomas should be considered an MVP candidate, but they're missing uh, a few of them. And what I mean by that is I made my own MVP ladder. I do what I want. So if we go to the next element, I think this one's a little bit more fair. I didn't really change all that much. Aside from, sure, right this second, James Harden, I think, is edging out Westbrook ever so slightly because of the Rockets' uh, record, and Westbrook is starting to fall short of the triple-double average. I think record shouldn't matter if the Thunder are in the playoffs and Westbrook has a triple-double. You should vote for him for MVP. But if he falls short of that average and he falls short of history in that regard, James Harden, I wouldn't be surprised if he takes it. Kevin Durant's going to start to rise up that ladder in just a second. Uh, the reason there's two stars next to LeBron James' name, he's the best player on the planet at all times, even at this point in the season, even when the Cavs are struggling. You're going to take one player to win you a championship right now. It's fucking LeBron James. He just did it last year. Back to that graphic because I want to talk about the bottom half really quick. Uh, where's the love? I used to give Kyle Lowry a lot of hate. Uh, Kyle Lowry has been instrumental to the Raptors' success this year. John Wall is pretty damn good at home. Chris Paul should probably be higher on the list, too. I put him at number nine because uh, the Clippers are going to struggle without him. We talked about that with Jared Jackson recently. And come on, guys. It's the process. They changed the culture. He's literally responsible for wins when he doesn't even play. Joel Embiid deserves some MVP love. Not number one, two, three, four, five. And this isn't the top ten best players in the NBA right now. It's the MVP most valuable player to your team, but let's talk about Kevin Durant for one more second because his true shooting percentage is through the effing roof, and the only company his field goal percentage is in is big men. Um, Tyson Chandler, Rudy Gobert, DeAndre Jordan, Harrell, Nikola Jokic, JaVale McGee, what do they all have in common? They shoot the ball three inches from the basket, and most of their, their scores are dunks. Kevin Durant, most of his scores aren't dunks. He's shooting it from the mid-range. He's shooting it from three. He's driving, dishing, and everything that goes along with making him one of the deadliest scorers in the NBA at this moment and one of the best scorers we've seen in the last 20 years. Kevin Durant is shooting 55% from the field, which, by the way, is five percentage points higher than he's ever shot in his career. Uh, he's not taking any less shots than normal besides from one. He's averaging enough to be in the top four scorers in the league. The Warriors are going to probably win 70 games. And, yeah, you're going to have to start giving some attention to Kevin Durant as the MVP of the league. I can't believe I have to say that because I wouldn't vote for Kevin Durant. But we're going to have to have that conversation when we get to that point. MVP is the most debated thing in the NBA season, I'm pretty sure, aside from All-Star Game. But what we found this year is the All-Star Game is meaningless. Um, I just needed to shed light on Kevin Durant shooting. I think that we've fallen behind on how amazing of a player Kevin Durant is because of the narrative that he's on the Warriors, he's a giant pussy, and we should be really immature and, and petty about it because we're not going to watch him. Here's what I can guarantee you. All those people who said they're not going to watch Kevin Durant. Guarantee you. Warriors versus Cavs finals, highest rated finals in NBA history. Absolutely guaranteed. Which means people are going to watch Kevin Durant play. I still have Russell Westbrook. Yeah, I still have Russell Westbrook. Number one MVP 
if he gets the triple double and finishes an eight seed or higher. History trumps everything. Uh, obviously, maybe Enos Cantor, because without him on that team, they're struggling. They're 0 3 without him. But regardless, after that, James Harden, number three, Kevin Durant. There's it. Number 10, Joel Embiid. That's all that matters. Leave your MVP ladders in the comment section below. It's a fun segment to do. It's interesting. I want to know what you guys think who the most valuable player in the league is about 55 games into the season. And we'll see you on Sunday with a lot of Super Bowl content.